The School of Engineering performs world-leading, cutting-edge research. Modern engineering research starts with the fundamental principles of science and engineering and expands to encompass various practical systems, both at the local and global levels. We are proud to now introduce four such cutting-edge researchers leading the way here at the School of Engineering. Skin for robots to convey feelings, emotions and a sense of humanity is among the new utility devices being researched by Professor Sommeyer in Electronic and Electric Engineering. I was so excited when I met organic transistors for the first time. The transistor is mechanically flexible, bendable, and even rollable. The conventional semiconductor devices are all made on rigid substrate, such as silicon. However, if we use organic semiconductors, we can print circuit on plastic films. I was enchanted with its unique feature. I considered what bendable transistor can achieve, and I came up with robot e-skin concept. What happened if robot bodies are entirely covered with skin-like sensors? Robots may be able to feel people's warmth and emotions, such as passion, by shaking hands. If pasted on the back of mobile phones, it enables us to input various information just by touching. With flexible sensors using organic transistors, I wish to make machines more human-friendly. In applied chemistry, Professor Mizuno deals with catalyst engineering. This is a highly anticipated technique that is seen as a vital component to solving environment and energy problems. Mizuno Laboratory has been performing researches and development of catalysts such as automobile catalysts and related sorption and battery materials from molecules to solids. These materials are designed at atomic or molecular levels and synthesized different from conventional ones. This synthetic methodology is leading to replacements of rare metals with base ones and synthesis of artificial enzymes by mimicking natural work. In addition, we are synthesizing artificial enzymes with all metals in the periodic table. We hope that this will lead to a new paradigm of high performance and environmentally friendly catalyst development and utilization, where government, companies, and universities can participate to create new applications Thank you. Associate Professor Hirabayashi is currently conducting research on water cycle and resource problems that are occurring due to global warming. She is also one of the young researchers selected as a top associate professor by the School of Engineering. We are studying the impact of climate change on water resources and water-related disasters. We'd like to know how rainfall glaciers and other hydrological components will change if the ongoing global warming uh, continues in future, and how flood and drought and water resources may change associated with these changes using numerical simulations such as global warming experiments, satellite remote sensing, and field observation. So our final goal is to provide this information for future sustainable society. The Super Associate Professor Program by School of Engineering gives young scientists an opportunity to have their own laboratories with support of budget, regardless of nationality and gender. I am also the one selected by the program. Here we have several supports such as child care facilities. You can continue your career even after having a baby. Researchers strive to introduce new systems to better understand our world. Professor Nakasuka is a distinguished researcher internationally recognized as a pioneer in his field. Mm. 
Naxco Laboratory has been conducting a research and development of very small artificial satellite called Micro Nano Pico Satellite with less than 50 kg weight. Different from conventional satellite of several tons, our satellite is of extremely low cost and can be developed in short time period, which is expected to open a new paradigm of space development and utilization where not only the government, but also the universities, local communities, companies, or even individuals can participate to use the space. Starting with CANSAT, two one kilogram world's smallest satellite CubeSat were developed and launched in 2003 and 2005, followed by the PRISM, a 30 meter ground resolution Earth remote sensing satellite. We are now developing astronomical satellite Nano Jasmine to obtain very precise 3D map of more than 200,000 stars in space, as well as 5 meter ground resolution remote sensing satellite Hodoyoshi 1. We intend to build a new social infrastructure uh, with a network of more than 100 satellites, which can continually monitor the Earth's environment, disaster, or human activities. We hope to invite 100 times more people into space development who will create noble ways of space utilization for their own interest and human welfare.